Learning compass skills is a lot of fun with your own compass, carried in a leather case you made yourself from this kit. This kit includes everything you need to make this compass case. It has pre-cut, pre-punched leather parts with the snaps already attached, and they're made of tooling leather. It includes wax thread and a needle to stitch it together, and it has a compass as well. To make things easier, it has an instruction sheet. To do the tooling, we will first dampen our leather with water, and then we'll set it aside for a few moments to let the water penetrate. And now, we can stamp whatever we want to put on this front. Now that my leather has dried from the tooling, I'm going to apply some highlight color stain. And I'll do that by rubbing it on liberally with a dauber, making sure I get down in all of the impressions that we made when we did our tooling. And then I will take a folded paper towel or a soft cloth and I will rub off the excess of the highlight color stain. I'll do this to all of the parts. After we have allowed our finish to dry, we can begin our assembly. We'll start by turning the belt loop over, as you can see, and uh, with the thread that's provided, we'll start by coming out the first hole, as you can see. And we'll leave about two or three inches for tying off later. And then we will start, or go to the next hole. And then we will stitch in and out. until we get down to the other end. Then we will stitch back, going through all these holes a second time. And as you can see now, we're getting a nice tight stitch. Now we can turn it over and tie a square knot. in the back. Cut it off short on both ends. And if you want, you can tap it down with a mallet to make it more flat. The next step will be to stitch the pocket in place. I'll start by using the remaining thread and go through the first hole on either side and then we'll leave about two or three inches for tying a knot later. Then we'll turn it over and we'll go through the first hole in the pocket and the second hole in the back part. And now I will come up through the next hole and through the next hole as you can see. Now we will continue stitching in and out all the way around. When we get to the, the last hole, as you can see here on the side, we'll sort of pinch this piece and we'll go through the next hole and through the other hole 
in the bottom part. Make sure you're pulling it very tight. And we go down through. Now it's time to bring down the the belt loop. We'll come now up through the hole in the belt loop, the first hole in the belt loop, then we'll come down through, and now we'll be picking up three layers, the belt loop, the front, and the back. And we will continue lacing now through the three thicknesses of leather. And we will continue around to the other side. After you stitch around to the other end, you go through the last hole from the back to the front, pull it tight, then you will stitch over the edge and through that second hole. Now we will do the same thing going back. We will continue by doing the in and out stitch back to where we started. After you stitch back to the beginning, we will tie a square knot in the end and we will clip off the ends and your compass case is finished.